American philosopher John Dewey once said, If we teach today as we taught yesterday, we rob our children of tomorrow. A very good day to everyone. I am Ananya Bhatia of class 7th. Today, I would like to share my views supporting the topic of the house assessment is sorted. The COVID-19 has resulted in schools being shut all across the world. Globally, over 1.2 billion children are out of the classrooms. With the distinctive rise of e-learning, whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. Research suggests that online learning has been shown to increase retention of information and takes less time. Meaning the changes coronavirus has caused might be here to stay. Even before COVID-19, there was already high growth in adoption of education and technology. With global edtech investments reaching US $18.66 billion in 2019 and the overall market for online education is projected to reach $350 billion US by 2025. Prior to the COVID-19 crisis, all assessments had been strongly dependent on the student's physical presence. Continuous assessment has always been important to see the progress of learners. When teaching remotely, keeping track of what learners know and do might seem more difficult, but it is possible. Some assessment tools are Number 1. Noticing a learner's response in class. The teachers can make a note of who is doing well, who needs more support, the areas that need review and things that everyone has mastered. Number 2. Self-checking is another way. Here learners check their own answers against the key and report back on the answers they need more clarification. It builds learners' autonomy. Number 3. Peer assessment method. Features like breakout room provided by video conferencing apps like Zoom allow students to hold group discussions without the fear of being judged. Number 4. Usage of sites like exams.net. Proctor exams, which use live video monitoring, AI proctoring, and lockdown browser prevent students from using unfair tools. Thus, online assessments have become more reliable. Even though it is currently not possible for teachers and students to come together, it is necessary for teaching and learning to continue to avoid learning losses. Online assessments can help all students, albeit from a distance. Thank you. Historically, Pandemics have forced humans to break from the past and imagine their world anew. This one is no different. A very good day to everyone. I'm Pranvi Sharma from Class 8, presenting my views against the new distorted virtual assessment system. The pandemic has turned our lives upside down, confining us to the four walls of our homes. The education system all across the world has gone through a paradigm shift. Not only in terms of resources and content, but also in terms of evaluation. Why? Online exams provide the option of taking an exam remotely in a virtual environment using the latest technology. The fact remains that this system is far from being foolproof. This mode of assessment involves the internet and a virtual screen. One of the major disadvantages of an online examination system surfaces in remote locations, where access to electricity, stable internet connection, and other basic system requirements are difficult to meet. The biggest loophole in the process is cheating. The devices used by many students offer multiple cheating opportunities, like connecting external storage devices and screen sharing. Keeping videos switched off, googling answers, and depending on pairs in the WhatsApp groups makes the whole process a mere joke. Invigilators have a tough time keeping a visual on the students writing the exam. A survey on online cheating by learning spiral found out that 73% of the students cheat during online exams. Unthinkable in the conventional offline exams. The evaluators find the same answers or batted in one answer sheet after another and are forced to give the benefit of doubt to all, distorting the entire assessment system. The need of the R is proper methods for assessing the quality of the learners and their learning. Students need to be kept engaged in enriching activities with focus on teaching life skills like communication, critical thinking and taking on challenges and assessing their learning outcomes. The pandemic is a test for our education system. Exams can wait, 
But learning should never stop. With that, I rest my case. Thank you.